and coming to easy pose with that support if you are using it. Just allowing that, that lift in the pelvis to bring freedom into the lower body. There's just more space to release the legs downward. Bring a nice gentle uprightness to the spine and head. Try to balance your ears with your eyebrows. Just try to sense where your eyebrows are in space, where your ears are in space so that the neck is gently lengthened. Hands resting down. Let's begin with the drishti or the focus of the eyes and the focus of the mind inward. Close your eyes, let them relax. It's fine if you need to continue to refine your position. Letting the brain relax as you look towards the space between the eyebrows with the eyes closed, just giving the brain a place to go. Right there where the breath is flowing through the nose. Feel the vibrations of the breathing. A sense of calmness coming to the mind as you relax into that breathing, let it deepen. Just gently explore, connect with yourself, your own breath. Allowing the mindfulness of breathing to have a positive, peaceful effect. Letting go of all that is not right here. Not always easy, but just asking yourself to let things be for now. And combine the, the drishti with bandha awareness, drawing in your low belly towards your spine gently. In and up below the breath. Just create a little stillness in your low belly. Perhaps the pelvic floor will come up gently upward as well, just an energetic lifting. And then if we tuck our chin, we contain our eyes, our breath, and our torso by gently sealing the top and the bottom. Let your neck stretch. Let's let the hands come to the heart center, the brain and the heart coming together. And inhale, lift up your head. Oh. Let the eyes open and find a softness forward. And using your eyes to help you as we move. So adjust your seat a bit if you need. Reset for a little bit longer here. Um, taking the arms up, shoulders down. Um, bring the right wrist in front of the left. And then bring your hands together. Straight your, straighten your spine. Bend and straighten your elbows a couple times. If you can go behind your head. It's fine if you're above your head. Just a little bit of movement is fine. Compassion, one more time reaching up, elephant's trunk variation, and then twisting over to the left side. Notice any gripping in your lower body and try to release. Strong core, not the biggest twist, but one that you create with the arms up. Let one more deep wave of breath flow through. Got my hands really soft here. And then easy back to center. Release your fingers and your arms down. Take a deep breath. 
any adjusting or switching the legs if you like. Core strong, exhale. Inhale, arms up, shoulders down. Take the left wrist in front of the right, uh, behind the right, sorry. And bring your fingers together. Nice and soft with the fingers, just easy together. Sit up tall, up and down with the arms a few times. If challenges come up in the practice, just you can acknowledge those. Yes, this is not easy. And then exhale and do a little twist. Just trying to bring your heart around. Relax your face, your brain. Breathe. One more time. And release carefully. Just let the hands unfurl. And um, let's lean back into our hands for heart lifting pose. So with the fingers forward, lean back. You can stay on your support. Reach your knees to the floor, lift your heart. Send the breath across the front of your chest and shoulders. The neck is a little neutral here, a little forward. One more time, stretch your chest. And then release your legs and unfurl them if you can, if you're balanced on your blanket. Reach them out like boat pose, keep your heart lifted. Really energize the reaching through the feet. It's okay if your knees are bent. And then tip forward, rest your feet. Malasana, garland. Part of our elephant's trunk pose is getting low in forwardness. So this is a great pose just to explore low and forward. Soften, just let yourself come into your own degree over several more breaths. Trying to keep the feet grounded. It's okay if the inner feet lift. And then lean back, cross in. So maybe pop up your blanket if you're using it. That'll be easier for this. So another part of the elephant trunk pose is the squeezing in of the leg, the squeezing in. So balance in your sacrum, squeeze in. Hold your feet, draw them close. And then release and try to keep that squeezing. And exhale, rest down, feet down, head down. Other side, so we strengthen in both ways, lean back, balance on your sacrum. Use your hands to guide your feet nice and close to your body. Let the feet curl and release your hands. Try to keep curling the feet. Just do what you do. And then release the feet down, hands down. And move back to downward facing dog. Give yourself, we'll take eight to 10 breaths here for just a wake up and check in with this pose. Hands spiral outward and spread. I love a little side to side to find center. You can do this in your own way. With an exhale, let your heart reach down, your head lengthen away from your, the rest of your spine. Bring some awareness into the legs. Maybe they're not quite straight and that's just fine. Just let the balls of the feet ground. Lift your hips nice and high with that low belly lift. Swing your hips over to the right side for a moment. Just find where a place where it feels nice. Just a little switch to the side. And a little shift to the other side with your hips. Exhale, center. See if your heels will begin to reach down. Bend your right knee. Release, bend your left knee. Pedaling out the leg several times. And one more time, exhale, heart down, long spine. And then inhale, shift forward. 
With your feet, come to half leg lift. Exhale slowly, fold forward, hands where they reach today. And then on up to standing. Rise, reach, still breathing in. And then slowly release your hands and your breath. Find your mountain pose. Ground those feet, let them spread. Perhaps just look down and check that your feet are nice and even. Spread out your toes and bring them down. Nice tall spine, low belly toning gently. Leave your fingers, press forward, inhale, forward and up. And then exhale, float down your arms nice and tall, release. Other way, other index finger in front. Inhale, press forward and up. And exhale, arms down. All the way to the sides of the body, calm the nervous system. And then Yogi's Choice, reaching up. You could press up with your favorite side again if you like, or just reach. Release your hands and send your heart forward. Swan dive, forward fold, all the way in. Let's take two more breaths in that forward fold shape. Folding over that, toning in the low belly. And let your next exhale lengthen your spine a little bit more. Half, <clears throat> halfway lift, inhale. Keep breathing. Let's Go through the stepping back one step at a time, kind of like a slow-mo. So take one more inhale here into the half lift shape. Exhale, just establish the hands down, bend your knees. Inhale, let your head come forward a bit, so press into the balls of the feet. Exhale, release your right leg back. Inhale, lean forward a little bit. And then exhale, release your left leg back. Finding that plank, knees down okay. Take one deep breath. And then bring yourself to upward facing dog. Knees coming down right where they are. Keep your arms straight, your hands spreading, and ease your belly forward. Letting the inner thighs roll upward, protects the low back. We wanna stretch the front body. Lift your chin a little bit, gaze to your nose. Just the right place, not too much. The belly is also strong here. And to release carefully, come slowly to table. And then back to your downward dog for five. So try to use one breath, establish. And then waves of breath flow through deepening into the shape. Listen for your breathing. Exhale, long spine. Bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, look between your hands. Inhale, straighten your legs, shift forward. Exhale, one foot forward. Inhale, bring the second foot forward and come to the half lift. So breaking that down a bit. Slowly breathe out, release your spine. Inhale, energy to come up, reaching up, and exhale, come back to that neutral mountain. Reaching up, your own favorite way with the arms, the pressing up, continuing if you enjoy. Forward fold, exhale. And we use those long breaths to come into these different shapes. 
Taking extra ones as needed. Halfway lift, breathe in. Tone in the low belly. So you work from that core. And let's break this down again. Exhale, bring your hands down, bend your knees. Inhale, lean forward a little bit into the balls of the feet, head forward. And then take your left leg back first. Inhale again, a bit forward. Exhale, right leg back, plank, establish. Knees down, forearms down. And work your way out to your belly. You can come to that forearm position and then come down with a nice long spine. Just landing on your front body. Let your hands gently lift your chest. We're doing our super people pose. So we want to engage the legs and the glutes here, bring them together and activate. So you reach through your feet. Then take your hands in two. Fist, just curl them in softly. Inhale, reach your arms up and ahead of you. And exhale, pull your hands down. Activate your back and lift up. Inhale, release. Arms up. Exhale, lift and pull. One more time on this side. And exhale, lift and pull. And release. Relax your body. Let's do a half bow on the right side. So roll to your left side. Rest your head. Bend your top knee. Just find your balance. And if possible, release your top hand and take your foot over hand grip. And just let the foot press into the hand gently to open the front body on that side. Just let your head be supported and comfortable. Coming into a little spot of resting, holding still. Let yourself relax, breathe. Creating just an amount, right amount of pressing of the foot into the hand. Give that two more breaths time. Drishti, what are your eyes doing? Centering gaze. We're closed and rest. Finish your breath. Back to the super people. So belly, zip up the legs, reach to the feet. Inhale, arms up, fists close. Exhale, lift and pull. The legs down. Inhale, relax down. Exhale, lift, pull. One more time, soften the hands, head down, and then inhale, squeeze those hands to activate your arms and back. Relax, and roll to your other side to do the second side. Rest on the right side, support your head. Find balance in your side body. Bend your top knee. Overhand grip, so the palm faces down. Find the ankle, foot. And really, you can just let the foot rest into the hand. Just grip it enough so you catch it. Make sure your head is relaxed. You do have a little tone in the low belly here to help find your balance. Deep breathing. Reconnect with your gazing, your bandhas, and your breath. Those three elements helping us stay very steady in our practice. And one more time, take a nice big breath. An even way. And then release your leg and come back to your belly. And come back to quarter dog pose. You want to um, bring your hands down a little low beside your waist and then press forward and down to lift up. And then back to quarter dog. So <clears throat> knees comfortably wide, feet tucked or not. 
And lengthen back, like downward dog. Reach out your arms, rest your head. These positions are good for our health of our feet. So do this to your tolerance with your feet. Exhale, relax into the center. And then let's attend to the latissimus, the sides of the body and the upper body, walking the arms over to one side, either side to any degree. So the further down you go, the more deep that stretching is. You just relax. At any point, you can release your feet. So please customize this. I'm gonna do a little exploration here to see where that feels good for my body. Knowing that you've gone a little bit too deep that you just release and back off. Try again. Letting the feet rest the other way as you feel like it. Letting the calmness of the forward folding have a calming quality. Breathe out again. A nice slow releasing over to the other side. Turning the other way to stretch out the big muscles that attach along the sides of the back. Use your both of your arms and hands to help customize the depth and sensations. Tuck under the toes for a little bit more time. Relax, a couple more breaths. And one more time. A slow and careful release. Up to tabletop. Using your blanket under your knees if you like. And once you've established that even table, reach out your right arm and your left leg. Bird dog pose. Energetic reaching of the limbs. Try to really get into that with your awareness, what it feels like to really reach, especially the leg. One more time, reach and then release your limbs and shift your balance to the other side. So if you just need to do the leg, that's fine. Add the arm as well if you can and vigorously reach, point your toes, you do want to keep the calf muscle from gripping too much, though. You don't want to create a cramp in your leg. So just reaching through the foot, keeping the calf muscle belly soft. Breathe deeply, reach one more time. Release, hand and knee. And for a moment, coming to the top of your head very lightly. Hands a little bit wide, bend your elbows, touch the top of your head to the floor. So place your hands so you feel nice and secure. One more breath. So the neck is so light here, everything's very light. The hands are supporting. Rise up, walk forward your hands, upward facing dog inhalation. Downward facing dog exhalation. Walk your hands back towards your feet and come to a nice forward fold. Five breaths, draw up your belly towards your spine. Take your favorite way. Wrapping behind, find your toes. Hold your elbows, just release your spine and your legs. 
feeling free to move through a few different variations. To do a little bit of lengthening out on your inhalations, folding deeply on your exhalations. Create a little length in your side body as you breathe in one more time. Breathe out, release deeply. Release your hands to the front of your pelvis, your waist. Press into your feet and stand up as so we extend the spine. Roll your shoulders back and release your arms. Elephant pose, old form. Knees bend, hips nice and low. Bring your elbows and hands together. Then rest your thumbs at your third eye center. Open feet. Bring strength and stability into the lower body. Let yourself feel grounded. Breathe out again. And then inhale, stand up and release. Triangle pose on the right side of your body. So we'll open at the back of the mat. So coming back to the front there, then turn out to the sides. Your feet stay on your mat. Turn your right foot all the way back. Angle in your left foot. Load out your arms. Breathe in. Tone in the low belly. And then keep that strong as you exhale over and down. Here we have a nice energetic reaching of the arm towards the sky. The whole arm activates. One more time, deep breath. Use inhale to come up, keep the legs straight and then reverse triangle. Just reach up your front arm, palm facing back. Energize that reaching. One more time. Release your arm and turn your feet to wide standing. Cross the retail legs. So give yourself a moment to find your wide even feet, wide parallel. And let's do a, an interlaced fingers. Just notice which index finger is in front, which thumb is on top. Inhale, stretch your chest, reach your arms back, your own degree, gaze towards your nose, tuck your chin, deep breath, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then relax that squeezing, lift up your head, and forward fold, to any degree, knees bending is all fine, arms away from the back to Gently stretch the chest and shoulders. Be very mindful. Trust the roots of your big toes. Spread your feet. Let your next exhale soften you into the forwardness of where you are. Inhale, activate, press the feet, that activates the legs, and then breathe in, come up, and release your arms. I'm trying a little self-care for this time today from Thai yoga tradition. Um, bring your arms back and palms back, and then bring your knuckles into the lower part of your spine, just above your sacrum, just gently bring your fists there. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, press the hands into the back and gently lift over the hands. So all of this to your own comfort. I'm going to adjust my feet a little bit so that I feel comfortable in my stance. Hands up a little bit. So inhale as a little forwardness. Exhale, gently lean back into your hands. Press your hands into your back. And then relax, 
come up a little bit more if you can. Inhale, round. Exhale, lengthen, press your hands into your spine, along your spine. And relax, try one more time. Last height, inhale in, round. Exhale, let your heart. And then carefully slide your arms down. That's a lot like that Parso Tanasana work that we do. See how that felt in your body? And come to triangle pose on the second side. So just facing the front of your mat, turn out your foot, reach your arms over and down, breathe out. Ground and reach, energize your reaching arm. Breathe in, one more. Exhale, tone your low belly in and that helps support you from your core as you come up, breathing in. And then release the feet facing back together for the press of each and lunge. So wide forward feet, bend your right knee towards your toes. So find your own coming down and forward as you are, as you like. So you can have lots of options with your upper body. Press into that foot, come up and do the other side, knee tracks towards the toes. Different from our side lunge, different from our warrior lunge, prasamita feet lunge. One more exhale, low, inhale, press and come out. And then on that same side, turn your foot out 90 and bend your knee for extended side angle pose. Lean and reach. Let me gather your fingers. Come down to the floor with your hand if you like. Whole body participates. And one more time, breathe out. Inhale, coming up and over to the other side. So turn your foot out 90 degrees, bend your knee over your ankle, lean and reach as you are ready. Middle finger to back of your, outside of your back foot. Another time, a deep breath reaching through. Exhale, finish. Inhale, press your foot, come up. Bring your feet close enough together so that you can step out to the front of your mat. And as promised, looking at a couple of new poses, well, one new pose and one more familiar. So bring yourself near a wall if you would like some balance support. So Parvati is the mother of Ganesha. And so there's this graceful dancer pose. I'm gonna start with my, my strongest leg and hip side, whichever side you wanna start with, but that's confusing. So. Let's all start with our left leg as far as coming into a little squat with the left leg. And then the right leg is going to cross in front of the left leg, pointing the toes, maybe. And so here's where the wall could be handy. The right arm comes down, Yana Mudra. And then the left arm comes overhead, taking that same gesture. Concentrate. Trying again if you need to. Just let a sense of grace come through the breathing. One more time. All these different actions. And release, uncross. And just experience the energy of the pose with the breath. Our body's graceful dance, other side. So now the right leg. So just coming into a little squat with that leg. The other leg reaches in front with the toes pointing. 
That reaching side gets the downward arm reaching. And then the other arm overhead or at your supportive wall. Just try to use the breath to create peace as you focus. Your brain gets stronger here. And one more time, exhale. Release out the arms, uncross the legs, release and let it go. And then Ganesha Skad is Shiva. So this one we're more familiar with, like floating up the right knee. Toes can stay on the floor and just have that lift in the knee. And then twist. And get your dancing arms on. You can do a little self-expression. Concentrate, but soften. Calm steadiness. And let's bring this to a close. And try the other side. So that lifting in the knee can work with the toes lifted or not. Just lift up the hands and elbows, twisting to the side. That idea of a soft, deep concentration. Maybe catching glimpses of some golden stillness in your mind. Take one more breath and then let that be. Making our way down, standing at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up your spine, maybe go back a little bit. Exhale to forward fold. Feel the low back stretch gently as you fold in. Half lift, strengthen your belly, reach with your heart. Exhale, take your hands back. Hands down and just your right leg back. Anjani Asana, so push it under your knee if you need. Front knee comes out towards the toes, roll your shoulders back. Arms down on the knee or floor or upward reaching. So yogi's choice, maybe a bend in the elbows. You can rest your head back, using the legs and the feet here. One more exhale. Then release into that idea of lotus again for lizard lunge, where you turn out your front toes and your knees at the same angle. Hands come down. And we're trying to sneak our shoulder or elbow behind that knee. You can walk your hand behind it. Enjoy the hip work. You can take your back leg back or lift up your knee to so get a nice hip opening, as well as playing with this idea of lowness and behind the leg. And then bring your back knee down, transition to Heinemann's half pose, straightening out, uncross that walk behind, fold in. Draw back on your toes, draw back on your low belly. Let this release the entire back of that leg and hip and foot. Feeling it into the low back as well. One more time. Breath. And then bend your knee to carefully take your foot back. Cow spine, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. 
Knees down, Anjani Asana, second side. Right foot forward, knee out towards the toes. Working low, medium, or high with the arms on this side. You could do a different variation. Taking care of your body. So we can work deeply, but with compassion. And breathe out one more time. Straighten out your knee, turn out your toes and knee for lizard. Come down to the hands. So your other knee might want to lift or just stop, step back a bit with that kneecap. Working low, maybe taking that right hand behind the foot. And find a nice place for your hips for lizard. Working strength and openness. Three, draw upon your bodice here for support. If you're tired, if it's hard, both the navel towards the spine and the pelvic floor supporting you. And then let's release the back knee down, unwind your arm and fold into Hanuman's pose. Nice long stay here, just let your nervous system go. Okay, calm, relax. But also some deep releasing. Sometimes we have emotional releasing in our practice and you can let yourself feel your feelings. Let some tears flow. Exhale away things you're trying to let go of. But letting your feelings be felt. And release. Coming to seated, you can just sit down or do a little transition. So playing with elephant's trunk pose, we've been building up to this pose this week. Um, let's see, so like we do in the beginning of class, let's find that sacrum balance. We're gonna keep the right leg, pull the knee in and reach out the left. Lean back a little bit so you get a little core, a little balance. And exhale, release down. And now widen your right foot out so that you can come to the inside. And then come low. Just give yourself a couple breaths to fold forward there. Uneven legs. Breathe out once more. Just try to fold forward, curl forward. And then inhale, sitting tall. So for elephant's pose, elephant's trunk pose, um, we do want to get the arm behind the leg. So we've been playing with that. So just see if you can hook your arm, your leg over your arm. And keep your hands spreading. And then use your hands to lean back and point your other toes. Energetic reaching, doing your best, and release. Just let that go. Come to star pose, Tarasana, feet away from the pelvic floor. Fold forward, curl, relax. If you have your blanket or flat close by, you can use that to bridge your head down to rest. And when we hold the rounded spine in our practice, we, we have flexion in the spine, we strengthen in flexion, and then we also release tension. So breathe into those spaces along the rib cage, along the spine, where in your body you might feel tension in coming forward this way. Exhale again. 
Inhale, roll your shoulders back, do a little heart lift. And second side for the elephant's trunk. So let's see. Bring in your left foot, lean back under your sacrum, and point out your right toes. One more time. Really lift your heart, reach your legs, squeeze in, and relax. Second one, a variation of Marici's pose. So we want to widen out your bent knee side so you can get your arm on the inside and come forward. And it's fine to be up in a blanket here. See if you can work your arm between that space of the knee a little bit. Continue getting forward and low. Four, one more breath. And then the variation of elephant's trunk. So we're going to keep the hook that up, leg over the arm. Lean back and reach to your foot. Support with your hand. Use your hand on the floor. The miracle of the elephant's trunk. And there's one more place we can go with this is lifting up. So maybe tomorrow or Monday. And just let that release. Back to Tarasana. Feet wide from the hips. It's time to extend your heart forward, extend your spine. And then just release your head forward. Extend its spine. Time deep breath. Exhale. Inhale, coming up and lying down. Have your block or blanket for this finishing part. Taking the block or the folded blanket underneath your sacrum. So bridge up to bring your prop underneath and then let your pelvis rest down so that the dense, most dense bone of the body, the sacrum, rests on the prop. And then slide out your legs one at a time. Slide up your arms and just let the arms and legs reach out as they feel good. You can straighten out but then relax. If the support is too deep, just bring your feet back in, bridge up and come off, and just stretch out without the support underneath because this is bringing us into a back bend, but a supported one. We've done a lot of back body release in the practice, so here some front body releasing again. Notice your front body. The tops of your feet, the fronts of your low legs, your knees, the fronts of your thighs. Just give them a little bit of, of activity with your brain. Activate your legs a bit. That basin of the pelvis. The skin across the belly, across the heart, the undersides of the arms and hands, breathe deeply in once more. And exhale, soften any reaching. Sliding your arms down and place them beside you on the floor. Bring in one foot at a time. Reach up one leg at a time, staying on your prop or not. So this is a nice variation for any time 
as your shoulders stand or legs up pose is to use a little elevation of a block or blanket or you get your hips off the floor. Your hands can lightly support your legs. Have some freedom if you would like to come to shoulder stand or just stay with me today and try this way, see how this way feels today. Mix up. Inhale, reach up your arms, shoulders down. Take your hands and feet away from each other so you get a little challenge in your belly. Maybe see if you can have a little bit more of a challenge, arms further, feet further. And bring them up to center. Release your hands and feet. Lift up off your prop. Spine down, knees in. Have your freedom for how you like to hold your knees in together or wide. Just attending to your body. Making sure the neck is lengthened. And this nice long lower back, come down with your feet and just carefully stretch them out. If you have that blanket close by, one nice way to simply help yourself be grounded is to ground your, your upper legs and your pelvis a little bit with the blanket, just letting that gentle weight and that warmth help release in there. Or maybe you're better served with the blanket under your head. But either way, with or without support, we want the neck to be long, forehead to be slightly higher than the chin. And then let your arms rest, let everything rest. Letting the breath move through the heart. The eyes softly close. The jaw relaxed. Let's have a soft return of deeper breathing. Let your eyes stay at rest. Just let something in your body change in a way that you will just wish it to. Like maybe just bring your hands to your body. Or bend in your knees. Enjoy the breathing. Invite your legs to come together and slide the heels in, bending knees to the side. Let yourself roll to that side and on up to seated. Folded knees or straight legs. So if it's comfortable for you to sit with folded knees, join me there or come to easy pose again. 
And a nice way to use your little blanket fold is to sit on that blanket. It gives you some space in this pose. Take a moment, make sure it's okay with your knees. Sit the other way just fine. And let's take the Abhaya Mudra, one of um, Ganesha's positions of his, of his four hands is this fearless gesture. Palm forward, shoulder back in the body. And with the other hand, let's create the gesture of meditation, which is just a little open bowl of the hand. Feel a sense of being protected. Visualizing wellness. The light around you. Sensing your own energy field. Gently filling the hand with the hand in your lap with any intentions of wellness that you would like to share once you have shared some with yourself. And breathe out and let's let the hands come together from those two different places so that Bring that bowl of intentions into that place. Feel deeply. Oh. Jaya Ganesha. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. I welcome your questions. If you'd like to email or if you'd like me to demonstrate something another time.